Today, I'm going to be bringing my son's imagination to life. I provided Theo and Josiah with paper and markers, and whatever they draw up in 10 minutes, I have to create. What if we don't make a video with Theo by It's either that or you're fired. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready? Godzilla! I love it. To no surprise, my kids wanted to make a video about Godzilla. For context, their favorite thing to do for the past month has been watching Godzilla heat ray compilations on YouTube. Can you give me my Godzilla cover one? I think I can do that. What do you think? Yeah. Oh wait, I, I know a good idea. After a few minutes of deliberation, a concept was agreed upon. The boys would be in a cave searching for Godzilla. Then they recognize him from a distance, and after upsetting him with some nerf darts, he would charge up the heat ray, right as Godzilla is about to fire. The boys run away, but here's the twist. I open the playroom door, revealing this was the boys' imagination in the playroom the whole time. Good for it, okay? Good plan? Let's make this video! With the story ready to go, it was time to gather the props. I sent Austin and Nate out to buy some flashlights. Meanwhile, the boys and I picked up a nerf gun, wizard wand, and their Godzilla toy. He's missing a little bit of a tail, but I guess that's okay. Also, I made sure to grab their jackets and boots because it's gonna be cold in the cave. Now it was time to set the stage. The first thing we're gonna need to do is set up tracking markers on the wall so we can create a 3D environment of the cave. Nicely done. Good job, bud. So I have the track markers stopping here. The main reason is I want clean shadows from the shot in case I need to add them back in the final video. You'll notice we have three lights with lanterns on them that are lighting the entire green screen. I'm gonna go ahead and skirt off the front of them so that the lights don't affect Theo and Josiah as much as the background. Oh, yeah. First, I'm gonna change the, the spot angle and we're gonna change it from white to a solid blue. There it is. Magnum. So this now represents Godzilla's heat ray. Oh my gosh. We're then gonna add another light, which will represent the light coming in through the cave from the side. Sweet, cool. With that, let's go ahead and start planning the shot. With the stage set, I did my best to direct the boys for the video. There's a bit of choreography, so it was a bit of a tall order to have the kids act through everything in one take. I realized it would be near impossible for Theo to carry around the flashlight and the Nerf gun, so he ditched the flashlight. Josiah, to no one's surprise, also ditched his flashlight because he was inspired by his brother. We then shot a bunch of takes until the boys were bored and ready to be done. When working with kids, especially my own, it's important to remember they're just that kids and not to expect perfection or for them to nail it every single time. As long as they're enjoying making videos, that's all that matters. Great shot. Great shot. I saw the movie. That was so good. That was so good. Once we got the take we wanted, we drove back to the house and shot the second half of the video. This part was way simpler. Hey, is everything okay? What are you guys doing? Bye. Now that the shooting is complete, it was time to bring this video to life with VFX. I hired a match moving artist to handle the 3D track, and Nate took on the roto while I tackled the 3D scan of the Godzilla toy. To bring this Godzilla toy to life, I used Polycam. I've used this app on a ton of videos at this point, creating a digital scan of a room for tracking or simulation purposes, or to bring a toy to life as I happen to be doing for this video. So for this, I set up a table with lights all around to do my best to create an even cast of light for Godzilla. It wasn't perfect, but it did the job. I then added a small Lazy Susan, designed for cakes actually, and I use this to spin my Godzilla toy around. The process of scanning was to take a photo of Godzilla and incrementally turn him around a whole 360 degrees. I then turned him on his side and repeated this process. Once complete, I turned on object masking and then pressed upload and process and it took about three minutes and the scan was ready. And I thought the results looked pretty great. You'll notice that the scan has a bit of the wall near Godzilla spikes, but I'm gonna get rid of that in Blender. I'm really mind blown by the results that are achievable with nothing but your phone. With the scan complete, I brought the 3D Godzilla to my computer and in Blender, I spent a few minutes removing the unwanted geometry around the spikes, the feet, and the hands. Then I spent a few more minutes filling in the gaps I made in the geometry. The way I went about this got the job done for the video, but probably not the best way for a mesh I'm gonna be deforming later. At this point, the 3D track was complete as well, and I was able to import this 3D camera into Blender. I then began to create the cave. I went through a bunch of iterations, but eventually settled on this look, where the cave opens up towards the back right, and there's a leak of light shining through the top left of the cave. Then I began to play around with the lights in the scene, keeping in mind how I lit the scene on the green screen. Pro tip, the better you can match the lights 
in your 3D environment to the lights on set, the more believable the results will be. With the lights set, I projection mapped the video of the boys onto a 2D plane in 3D space. The only issue though was the contact shadows weren't looking great because Theo and Josiah were moving on different planes. So I created rough geometry of both of their legs and animated it to the scene, which was not that hard because I was working with an incredible 3D track to begin with. If your camera track is done properly ahead of time, this step will be significantly easier. I then reprojected the video of the boys onto the geometry and voila, proper contact shadows. Now I turned off all the objects except for Godzilla. I set up a simple human rig and aligned it with Godzilla and used the Rigify plugin to add a tail as well. With the tail added, I generated a rig, which gave me a bunch more nuanced control for Godzilla. I then spent way longer than I'd care to admit animating a Godzilla walk cycle. Maybe I should have used mocap instead, I don't know. Once I got a walk I was pretty happy with, I positioned him in the scene and animated him walking up to the boys. Once the kids turn around to see Godzilla, I thought it would be fun to have him look over to them and let that facial move motivate the camera's move in the shot. One of the beautiful things of creating a scene in 3D is I can make these creative choices after we captured the plate of the boys on set. I then animated Godzilla being shot at and angered by the nerf darts. Now for the part I was excited about. As the boys begin to aggravate Godzilla, I have his blue glow begin to swell on the spikes on his back. Then once Theo blasts the large dart at him, I put a light inside of Godzilla's mouth and parented it to the rig, then animated its brightness intensifying as Godzilla winds up to shoot. Finally, I animate Godzilla returning to the rest pose, which is perfect because it looks exactly like the toy, because it is the toy. I added some glow, motion blur, and press render. I then prayed that the next six hours of render time would not be a complete waste, because seriously, my least favorite part of any project is hitting render, going home for the evening, coming back in the morning only to find out there's a big issue I didn't notice because I couldn't watch the video in real time while I was editing it and have to hit render again and you get it. But much to my delight, the render came out great. Now all that was left to do was a bunch of compositing. I added the nerf darts for Theo's gun and the wizardly light orbs from Josiah's wand, which I just timed up with him doing this thing. I also aligned the first and second half of the video using the Godzilla toy as the focal point. After some color grading, sound design, and music. You're gonna be the monster. I'm gonna make your voice sound big and scary like Godzilla. <laughs> It's now time to show the kids and see what they think. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, boy, have you seen Godzilla? There he is! He's too powerful! Hey, is everything okay? What are you guys doing? Fire you Okay. Oh. Do you want to again? What do you think? Again. Did you like it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I have for this video. Thank you to everyone who stuck around to watch it. If you enjoyed this style of video or want to see something different, perhaps a more in-depth tutorial or VFX challenges, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.